Got about two minutes remaining in this built-in hold at the T-minus nine minute mark. Countdown clock will resume in two minutes. Mark. Columbia carrying a crew of five with the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Chandra's high resolving power is equal to the ability to read letters on a stop sign from more than 12 miles away. This telescope is 20 to 50 times more sensitive than any other X-ray telescope. All is quiet here in firing room one as the launch team now monitors the systems on board the Space Shuttle Columbia. At MDR, we're on air to ground. Countdown clock will pick up in one minute. CD, ICTC. Set ICTC. Hold fire system enabled. IUS final launch configuration complete. And I copy ICTC. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus, T -minus nine, nine, nine minutes and counting. ELS auto sequence has been initiated. Nine minutes away now from the launch of Columbia on mission STS 93. Pilot Ashby now flipping switches in the orbiter's crew cabin to directly connect the fuel cells to the essential power buses. Copy. In a few seconds, the orbiter crew access arm will be retracted away from the vehicle and stowed to the launch configuration. This arm can be re-extended in just a few seconds if necessary. ELS is go for OAA retract. T-minus seven minutes and counting. All systems aboard the Shuttle Columbia continue to look very clean. Weather conditions are still go for launch. In the next couple minutes, Pilot Ashby will be performing the auxiliary power unit pre-start and also yeah, will be starting the... Start the APU strip chart recorder. With RPS, that is complete. The auxiliary power units provide hydraulic power to the orbiter. APU pre-start. APU pre-start and work.
T minus six minutes and counting. And the auxiliary power units will be started at the T minus five minute mark. Personnel personnel radio net 105, maintain silence on net 105 until negative RTLS verified. Orbiter, Every heat start. Maintain silence on net 105 Security until negative Security crossover to the entity on air to ground. DLT, perform APU start. DLT, start APU. NCDR, reconfigure heaters. Can we can say good work. The ground launch sequencer has terminated liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank and is initiating drain back. T-minus four minutes and counting. Final purge of the main engines is now starting. The main engine valves are being opened and being prepared for start. A profile test of the orbiter's aero surfaces has started. The orbiter flight control surfaces are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify they are ready for launch and the three main en engines will be gimbaled and positioned for launch. All systems are go for launch at this time. Just a few minutes away from the 26th flight of the shuttle Columbia with a crew of five. T minus three minutes and counting. The liquid oxygen tank is being pressurized for flight. The gaseous oxygen bit hood retraction is now beginning. Flight crew, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow. A few days delayed, but same enthusiastic launch team wishing Columbia's crew success on your mission. ATC, CDR, we've got our visors and our O2. Thanks for all the great work, and we'll see you in five days. CLS is go for ETLA 2 pressurization. All systems aboard Columbia continuing to look very clean. 90 seconds away from launch. Chandra is the next of NASA's series of great observatories following the Hubble Space Telescope and the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory. Liquid hydrogen tank being pressurized for flight.
T minus one minute and counting. Columbia will be launched on an easterly trajectory on a 28.45 degrees inclination to the equator. T minus 45 seconds. Less than one minute away now from the 95th space shuttle launch. T minus 35 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. 25 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have a goal for engine start. Zero. We have booster ignition and lift off of Columbia. New height for women, X-ray, and Columbia. Roger, roll. 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 Roger, Roger that, Columbia. Looks like we had a transient on AC-1. Columbia's now headed downrange, altitude 3.8 3 uh, miles. And as we hear, uh, all systems uh, okay. It looks like a sensor on board. Three engines throttling down, all at 67%. Columbia Houston, we are critical to AC-2 on the center engine, AC-3 on the right. We've lost DCU-A on the center and DCU-B on the right. Copy that. And Columbia Houston, you are go with throttle up. Columbia, go with throttle up. And all three engines are back at uh, full throttle. Columbia is now eight miles downrange, altitude 14 miles. Is uh, monitoring the electrical systems on board. Again, all three fuel cells appear to be healthy, as do the hydraulic systems. We're approaching one minute fifty seconds into the flight, standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket uh, boosters on the orbiter. Columbia now uh, has burned uh, more than two million pounds of fuel and weighs half of what it did at launch. SRB separation is confirmed. Columbia Houston, performance nominal. Performance nominal. Uh, that report, the performance thus far in the launch phase has been as expected. Again, the uh, electrical uh, systems officer here in Mission Control reports that all electrical systems are in good shape. Columbia is now 50 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 40 miles. Now traveling 3,200 miles per hour. Approaching uh, three minutes into the flight, uh, the next call will be uh, shortly after three minutes, which will be a two-engine call for the transatlantic abort site at Ben Gurir in Morocco. Again, all systems healthy, the hydraulic systems, electrical systems, and the three engines are, are all at full throttle. Uh, no issues that are being tracked. Again, all electrical systems are healthy aboard the orbiter. Columbia Houston, two engine Ben. Two engine Ben. Columbia can reach Ben Greer now in the event of a single engine failure. Again, all three are still at full throttle, and uh, there are no issues uh, being reported by the flight control team. All is quiet. It appears uh, that the electrical uh, issue earlier on appears to have been a sensor. All systems are again healthy. Columbia is 116 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 58 miles. Traveling now almost 4,500 miles per hour. Well, 
Columbia, Houston, you are negative return. Columbia, negative return. Columbia can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center now in the event of an engine failure, but all three, again, uh, are doing uh, very well. Flash evaporator system operating uh, normally now, four minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Columbia is uh, 199 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 67 miles, traveling 6,000 miles per hour. All quiet here in mission control with no uh, problems being tracked. All three engines are uh, at full throttle. Hydraulic systems all healthy, as are the fuel cells producing electricity for all of the orbiter's systems. Columbia, Houston, press to ATO. Columbia, press to ATO. And Columbia can now reach orbit on two engines should one fail. And we're selecting Banjo. Roger that. You are single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Uh, that call indicating that uh, Columbia is uh, in excellent shape, headed to orbit. About uh, two and a half minutes or so remaining now in uh, powered flight. Columbia Houston, single engine Van Jewel 104. Single engine Van Jewel 104. Now Columbia can reach uh, Ban Banjul if necessary on one engine. Columbia, press to Miko. And that call indicates that Columbia can reach a safe orbit now on two engines should one fail, but all three are still uh, in good shape. Traveling 10,000 miles per hour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 413 miles at an altitude of 70 miles. Now approaching seven minutes into the flight, Columbia's velocity is up to uh, 10,900 miles per hour, downrange 500 miles, altitude 69 miles. Columbia Houston, single engine press 104. Columbia, single engine press 104. And Columbia can reach orbit now on one engine should two fail again. All three are uh, still at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia Houston approaching Miko. Nominal shutdown plan, no action required. Booster officer reports uh, he's seeing throttling now on the main engines as the uh, vehicle approaches three times gravity. And the three main engines are beginning to throttle back in preparation for main engine cutoff just about 20 seconds away. Columbia's velocity is up to 15,000 miles per hour. Downrange uh, 760 miles, altitude 67 miles. Standing by for main engine cutoff. And the booster officer reports a good uh, main engine cutoff of uh, Columbia's engine. Engine is now uh, in orbit.
Columbia Houston, we see a 15 foot per second under speed. Ohms one, not required. Copy, Ohms one, not required, and it's great to be back in zero G again. And uh, Columbia is now uh, in a highly elliptical orbit of 149 uh, nautical miles by 42 nautical miles. That's uh, in statute miles. That's 160 by 163 by 47.